Hi everyone, this is Eva's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the incredible capability of GenAI using Chenlit and OpenAI Assistant to create a data analysis bot, which uses Code Interpreter to write the code on live to proceed your data analysis task. This bot is like your personal data analyst, help you on data-related tasks like cleaning, interpreting, and even generating insights from your datasets. You may say there are already so many videos about data analysis using GPT-4, GPT-4.0, but all of them require you logging to ChatGPT. With Chenlit, you can have your own user interface tailored specifically to your needs. Whether you work with data or you are a business user, this video is perfect for you. So grab your coffee and let's dive in. To demonstrate, we will use French salary data. I found this data set on Kaggle, which is a very good example for showcasing the bot capability. Firstly, let's take a look on the structure of the data. In this table, you have approximately 50 cities in France and with different indicators of salary. You have like mean salary and then different mean salary per age ranges and the mean salary by genders, etc. And the number is the mean salary per hour in euro. Okay, so um, based on this data set, we may want to explore the question like, what is the distribution of salary across different cities? What is the difference of the salary by gender for men and for women? And what is the difference of the salary per age ranges, etc. So now let's use the data analyst that I built to proceed the analysis and to answer all these questions. Now I'm in the user interface that I already prepared. I just uploaded the Excel file from here. And let me just copy paste my first question. Compare the mean salary among cities. Before that, since the salary per hour is not very intuitive, I just asked the bot to convert to monthly salary and also rename the column headers to make it more meaningful. Okay, let me just send this prompt. So at this point, the bot is processing the raw data using code interpreter and you can see the code here. Initially, the dataset had a small issue and he just corrected himself. Next, it renamed the column headers to make them more meaningful and easy to read. Finally, once the data was ready, the bot created a plot to compare the mean salary among different cities. Giving us a clear visualization of the trend, it's amazing, right? How quickly and efficiently this was done. So now let's take a look of the first graph, the comparison of mean net salary among cities. In this chart, we can see a comparison of mean salary across various cities, and the vertical parts represent the average net salary for different uh, gender. What stands out is that the city like Neuilly-sur-Seine tend to show higher averages. I'm not surprised about this result because this is a very rich city, not very far from Paris. Okay, so I think in this graph there are actually too much information and it's not very clean. So let me just ask the bot to do not show the detailed categories. It's better, right? So here you have the salary for all the cities and Neuilly-sur-Seine, here this one, Nanterre, and saint Cloud have highest salary than others. So moving on, let's explore the gender pay gap. So here on this graph, we can see on average, men are approximately 20 per per hour, however, women are approximately 16 per hour. This gap indicates a disparity in earning across different genders. I'm not happy with that, but it's not our point today. So this may be attributed to various factors such as job roles, industries, and etc. And finally, let's look at how salary trends vary with age. 
So here we can observe a clear progression. Individual age 18 to 25 are significantly less than those in 26 to 50 age range, while the highest salaries are typically earned by those over 50. This trend aligns with career progression, as experience and seniority tend to increase earnings potential. In general, I'm very happy about these results, so it just takes me two minutes. If I need to do all this analysis by my own, I will need at least 20 minutes to do that. Now, you might be curious about how much time I spent developing this chatbot and how I did that. Frankly speaking, if you use the latest version of Chainlead Data Analyst, it takes just several minutes. It's a very local solution, but you will still need some very basic coding skills. So simply go to GitHub and search for Chainlead Data Analyst Repository, and here you can find the detailed guidelines. So you need to have your own OpenAI API key, you need to create an environment file, and then firstly run the first script create assistant in the backend of OpenAI platform, and then just run your application. So of course, you can go to Assistant Playground in the backend of OpenAI platform, and here you can change all your parameters. The name of your assistant, uh, instruction, and the different models, etc. So the most important is to activate your code interpreter. Just try it and have fun. And that's how you can create your own data analyst using Chainlit. I hope this video gave you some inspiration and ideas for your projects. At the end of the video, I will share the GitHub and Kaggle links with you. You can explore the examples I've shown, experiment with different prompts, generate various types of graphs, and have fun discovering the new possibilities. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. And thank you for watching and see you next time.